let's start the next lesson. So, okay, projectiles. Anybody know this word projectile? You know it? What do you think it is? Yeah. Do you know the name of the shape of this curve? Trajectory. Uh, but that, yeah, that's not quite the name of the shape. That's just what it is. It's a trajectory. So it has a particular shape. I wonder if you know. Against, yes. What is it? Spanish is parabola. And what do you think it is in English? Parabola. Correct. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the noun. Do you want to try and make it an adjective? Parabolic. Yep. Parabolic, yeah. That'll do. That's fine. You know this word? Yep. yep. So, a projectile is an object that travels through space with only the force of gravity acting on it. It generally, but not always, travels along a parabolic path. You were translating something? What did you translate? Okay. Your first language is? Mandarin. Mandarin, yeah. So what's projectile in Mandarin? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> Any word, and I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. I made you doubt your own language. <laughs> All right, continue. So, uh, so this is an example of a projectile and parabolic path because once the bicycle leaves the the ramp, uh, there's only gravity acting on it. So this is what I mean by the parabolic path, the shape. There's also air resistance, but we usually don't consider that. Um, now look, why is Superman not a projectile? Like, what technically makes him not a projectile? Um, he's sort of powers. Yeah, true, yeah. So essentially, yeah. Uh, he's not a projectile because he travels where he wants. It's not a parabolic path. It's not only gravity force. He has his own trust. Okay. Huh? Exactly, that's a missile, yeah. Tech, well, see, I don't know if you'd call a missile a projectile. Like, okay, you can call it a projectile, but technically it has its own trust. So I always think of projectiles as things you throw. Because a missile doesn't have to go in a parabolic path. Or a bullet, yeah. A bullet would be a good example of a projectile. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there's some tips about, or some things about projectiles you need to know. The dimensions are independent. So what does that mean? That means, if I get it here. Um, if you were to look at the movement on the X, that does not affect the movement on the Y. 
they're free of each other, so to speak. Um, a good example of this is this situation. So you have two things happening. Uh, a ball is kicked straight out and lands here. And then at the same time, at the same time, a ball is dropped straight down. Now, which will hit the ground first? In a vacuum, it'll be the same time. Now, you might think there should be a difference, but there's not, because this is what I mean. This X movement here, it has a, a movement in the X, whereas this one doesn't, that has no effect on the Y. And the Y in both situations will be the same. So this is what I mean by when I say they're independent. Um, gravity acts only on the Y. You know this, though. Gravity acts only on Y, not X. There's no acceleration in the X. You can use vectors to help you here. Projectiles have no vertical speed at their maximum height. And remember, S is position at a uh, distance. I think, would you make some notes about these key points? We'll have a look at some examples. Who's texting me? Yeah, so that means when it reaches the top, it's actually at rest and then falls back down. I think we saw something like this in a previous lesson. Wasn't there some question with a ball being yeah, thrown yeah. up in the air? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is the same thing I'm getting at here. It's same principle still. Can I continue? Yeah. Yeah. So look, let's have a look at an example. We'll put this all together, okay? A projectile is fired at 30 degrees at a speed of 100. So let's just draw that, okay? Here's the ground. Um, what do we say? This is 100, okay? And this angle here is 30 degrees. What you need to do first is resolve. Resolve here and resolve here. Now we learned how to do that in this lessons on vectors. Do you remember this piece will be 100 cos 30. And this piece here will be 100 sine 30. So what you can do for these projectile problems is think about them in two halves. An x and a y. Okay, um, the first thing I want to know is the time of flight. That means how long it's in the air. Okay, so in that situation, we look at the Y, we look at this piece. It goes, oh, uh, can I give you a little tip actually? My 
my physics teacher used to give me this little tip about projectiles. So he recommended that you, you imagine it's like this. Um, there's a little laser here and a little laser here and it puts a little dot here and then it puts a little dot here. So what you can picture when the ball starts, goes up, goes down, what happens to the dot here? It goes up and then goes down. And what happens to the dot on the ground? It just keeps moving across, doesn't it? I, I like this way of thinking about it because then you think about it as two problems. Something moving vertical and something moving horizontal. I just, I like it. It's a nice way to think about it. So we need to look at the why. So what will happen in the why? It'll go up, stop, and then come back down. And it's back here once the projectile is here at the end. What's the U? Now remember just the Y. What's the U? Is it 100? Yes. No, it's not 100. It's 100 oh, sine 30. 30. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What's the V? We don't know. What's the A? Maybe. Minus 9.81. What's the T? We don't know. Maybe. That's actually what we want, isn't it? And what's the S? Very good, zero. Because it goes up and up. Yeah? Um, you look confused. The S, is it? I'm figuring it out, yeah. Yeah. The displacement is zero because yeah, it's back at the start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. Give me the T. I want the T. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because certainly in the X it's in not X, zero, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're imagining there's only the Y axis. Yeah, yeah. Did you skip a page? Or are you doing it in a different order? Or are you going in the same order in the book? Joan hasn't skipped a page, has she? She didn't skip stage. Yeah. yeah. And now you've gone back yeah. to it. Yeah. Because that's my workbook. And she likes doing the surds after. Yeah. The other stuff with the quadratics whereas i like doing it at the start because right? i kind of like the students to know exactly what surds are before they are using the quadratic formula you know but so that's what okay because i was going to say surds but you should have done that last week but it's because you skipped it yeah anybody got an answer yet Ten point one nine. So uh, that's ten point two. Yeah. Yeah. Ten point two seconds. So ten point one nine, which is roughly then, of course, ten point two seconds. Okay. Are we? Th it's just UVATS. Nothing special, right? We happy with that? Yeah. Now the next part is what is the range? 
Does anyone know the meaning of this word? What is the range? Yeah. Mm, not quite. Oh, that's in maths. Yeah, not in physics, I'm afraid. So it's not domain and range. It is not domain and range, no. The range is the maximum possible mm -hmm. x Good try. Oh. oh, yeah, x distance, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. The range is the distance it travels horizontally. So when somebody says this projectile has a range of 50 meters, it means it can travel 50 meters along the ground. You know? It's a military term, range of a weapon. Well, you should know this from video games, weapon range, right? Your cars, or range of a car. It's how far it can travel horizontally. So the range is the X distance here. Now, remember we said in the x direction there's no acceleration. So if I'm just looking at the x, do I use UVATS? No. Not necessary. I can just use the, the distance speed time triangle. What's the distance? We don't know. That's what we want. What's the speed? Cost Very good. It's 100 cost 30. And what's the time? 10.19. Yeah. So what's the range? The range is 100 cos 30 times 10.19. Um, 882 Because there's no acceleration horizontally, we can use the triangle. There's no A. Just distance, speed, time. Oh, you look confused. You look so confused. No, I'm just trying to figure out, like, is it possible to draw that in an actual graph? Yeah, it is and a then it's get parabola, yeah. yeah. With a quadratic equation. Exactly. And then get re the results from the actual... Oh, my goodness, you could. I've done that before. It takes a lot longer than you think. Okay. Well, just... The it's not clear what the equation is of the it's parabola. Not the equation mm. number three? No. The equation of the line? No. No. Because the x axis is in time. Oh, yes. You see, if it was a system, it's distance. Yeah. It's distance. Mm. You, you actually, if you start doing it, you realize you'll hit many problems that need to be resolved first. But you are right, technically, if you've got the formula for this quadratic, the first root is at the origin, the second root would be the range. Yeah. But it's not as easy as using this triangle, that's for sure. Yeah? And the last part is what's the maximum height? So for the maximum height, we're back to looking at the y. So it's just the, the maximum height. The u is still... 100 sine 30, yeah? But now we know the V. What's the V? For the maximum height, what's the V? Zero. 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 And do we know the A? Negative nine. Yeah. So, can you give me the S, please? Give me the S. We have to check what the equation is. Um, what would be a good one? V squared. Yeah? 2.5. So uh, seems kind of small. Yeah. No, 2.55. That seems more like it. Yeah. Did, did you get the time or something? No. I don't know. 
You forgot the square root or yeah. something? Sorry, what is it? Uh, oh, you forgot the square. A yeah. hundred and... Twenty-seven. Yeah. Forty-one. Okay, so a hundred and twenty-seven. Yeah? Did you all get that? Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah. Okay. A guard throws a small stone. Oh, no, I don't like this one. I'll do something like this one. But I'll make it a little bit shorter. I have more examples than perhaps I need. You're all seeing it to be getting this one okay. So look, um, let, let's do, I want to do a common physics problem. Uh, it's a common one in lots of physics books. It's kind of a weird one, but it's when a car drives off a cliff. A very common physics problem for some reason. That's my car. I know, isn't it? But it's like it's a standard physics projectile question. So, uh, we'll make the cliff, I don't know, we'll make it a 100 metre cliff. That's uh, serious enough, isn't it? Uh, and then we'll put, we'll put it uh, above an ocean as well. Okay. Uh, and then, um, let's give this a speed, oh, what would we say, 20 metres per second maybe? I don't know. It's gone pretty fast, isn't it? 20 metres per second. So, and hits the ocean. Yeah. Splash. <laughs> yeah. So, my question is, and I'll give you a minute to try this one. Like I said, this is a standard physics question. Now, the new guy who writes the physics paper, he's one of these... Oh, how can I... Uh, do you know what a hippie is? Yeah. Do you know a hippie? He's a hippie. He's a hippie because I remember writing a physics exam once and I had a question about a projectile and I said something like, oh, a bullet is fired and it goes across the room and it hits the ground and all this stuff. And he said, oh, you have to change this question because you can't have any weapons in your physics exam. <laughs> so uh, I don't think he would make this a car. He would make it something like a football or something like this. Okay, But anyways, it's usually a car for some reason. So the question is, uh, and it's a, it's a good exam question too, is what is the range, okay? What is the range it travels out here? Now before you calculate the range, you should first calculate the time. See if you can do this for me before I give you the answer. And just to be clear, that 20 meters per second is horizontal, perfectly horizontal, 20. Actually, I remember now, it wasn't even a bullet that I had in the question, it was a cannonball. Now, so nobody's upset by this, the driver jumped out before the car went over the cliff, okay, so... This triangle. Yeah. <laughs> it just threw the door open and rolled out. GTA stuff. That's it, yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Well, you got an answer? What you get for the range? 40. Seems a bit small, doesn't it? I mean, it could be, but this is 100 meters high. I would have, I would have guessed uh, that this should have been at least a little more than 100. But maybe the car, well, you know, the other thing to remember is maybe the car is not going fast enough to go too far out. But I thought 20 was fast enough to go quite far out. Anyways, let's get the time first. So, U, V, A, T, S, and are we looking at X or Y for time? We have to look at Y. Okay. What's the U? 218. Uh -uh. No, zero. Zero. We're looking at vertical. What's the V? Don't know. What's the A? What's the T? What we want. What's the S? Minus 100. Minus 100. S equals UT plus a half A T squared. The T is root 100 over 4.905. What do we get? 4.52. Seconds. No. No? Seems about right. I used the graph in the image. That's the time. Yeah, four point one four point five two. Four point five two seconds, yeah? So then lastly five one five if you want. Yeah, let's do five one five then. Uh, since it's not the final answer. So lastly, how do we get the range? We use the triangle. Distance equals speed multiply time. Yes? Speed multiply time. And what's the speed? 20. 20. And the time? Well, we just have it. So what's the answer? 90.3. That seems more like it. 90.3 meters. So what happened to you that you got 40? What did you do wrong? You and I switched you and I told her that she used the horizontal one. Yeah, it was supposed to be vertical. Oh, okay, you were looking horizontally. Yeah. yeah. Did anybody get 90.3? 90? Yeah. You got it in the end? Did you? No? Yes? Son, did you get this? Or you had trouble? Oh. Trouble? Trouble? Regina, you got it? You got 90.3? You got it? Okay, so 50-50, I would say. Um, but is it clear now? Is it understandable? Yeah. Son, is it okay now? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I can trust you? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Please do that. Okay. Well, look, maybe we should try some. How many did I give you in the... The workbook, how many is there? Maybe there's a few, I don't know. I can't remember. Five. Oh, okay. Five projectile questions, yeah? Yeah. What's the first one about? Projectile is launched horizontally after launch it takes 0 0.7 seconds to travel 50 meters horizontally to the target. Yeah, okay, so uh, to help you out, I'll, we'll just draw the first picture. So it starts horizontally and then it falls. Okay, and what's this distance? It says is uh, uh, 50 meters in 0 0.7 seconds. Oh, you're all very good students. My picture looks very perverted. I'm going to draw that again. <laughs> <laughs> Bad teacher. Right, well, okay, now that's safer. Okay, uh, this distance here, what is it? Doesn't say. No, you see, it says it falls. It falls 50 meters, isn't it? Horizontally. Oh, sorry, horizontally. So they've given you this distance, yes, is it? Yes. That's uh, 50 meters. Yeah. What else are we told? Uh, it takes 0 0.7 seconds to reach. Um, but they don't give us this speed? There's no angle. It's, it's straight across, yeah. yeah. We'll just call it X or something. No, that's the first question. Determine the horizontal. Yeah, speed. okay. Actually, that's not so bad. Um, so we look horizontally, and what do we use? Distance, distance speed, time. time. Do we know the distance? Yes. Do we know the time? Yes. 
What do we want? The speed. We can get it, no problem. We can say, remember the triangle distance, speed, time. And we want the speed. So speed is distance over time. And we're finished. What's the next part asking you? Let me guess, the height. Yeah, vertical yeah, distance. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we look vertically, and we have our U, V, A, T, S. Do we know the U? Vertically? Do we know the U? Yes. It's zero, good. Do we know the V? No. No, because we don't know how fast it's going when it hits the ground. Do we know the A? Negative nine. Yeah. Do we know the T? Yes. yes. Yeah. So we have enough to get the S, which is what they want. Square one. Yeah. And is that the end of the question? Uh, before the projectile is launched, it accelerates uniformly from rest over a distance of 0 0.4 meters. Oh, okay. So that's just what they've done is they, they've... Yeah. If they've imagined that it came out like a cannon, yeah. so it's just a UVATS problem then. Yeah. Yeah. Determine the magnitude of the acceleration. Yeah. So it's what's the A in like this part when it's coming being shot out the cannon. Uh, okay. I think you should be okay with these. Um, do we or don't we have class tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday, so we have. We have one period. One hour. Okay. We can have a look at problems with the projectiles and the yeah, weight and drag one for one hour, right? Yeah, one hour. Okay, well, one hour, one hour. can you do your best to finish both homeworks tonight? You can get a start now, okay? Well, just, just, just five minutes, try, and then we'll finish it up.